Well, today, President Obama, in his final address of the year, discussed the historic change with Cuba. But change is going to come to Cuba. It has to. The president acknowledges that change will take some time, but some in Cuba won't wait. And today we're learning of a group of migrants who tried to leave the island on the eve of the president's big policy shift announcement. CBS4's Lauren Pastrana joins us from the newsroom with more. Lauren. Rick, that group never made it to the U.S. In fact, one man may be lost at sea, and one local Cuban exile says the communist government on the island is to blame. <laughs> Still nothing. That's the latest word from a family looking for a lost loved one. Yosbel Diaz Beato's relatives say he was among a group of more than two dozen people attempting to flee Cuba in a go fast boat Tuesday, a day before the landmark announcement was made that the U.S. and Cuba would begin normalizing relations. The vessel was broken into two, and his uh, nephew uh, disappeared. They don't know where he is. They don't know if he drowned or if he's still alive floating somewhere in the ocean. Ramon Saul Sanchez with the Democracy Movement claims the Cuban government may have played a role in the sinking. The Cuban Coast Guard rammed this vessel from the back, from the rear, broke the vessel in two. The U.S. Coast Guard tells CBS 4 News, quote, there is no evidence to support the claim that is being made by the democracy movement and Mr. Sanchez. The agency says it received a request to assist at the scene of a sinking boat, but was then told Cuban authorities responded. A spokesperson says, quote, Coast Guard was told that all reported people on the vessel were safely recovered by the Cuban border guard and that the master of the vessel was being held in Cuba on accusations that he was trying to smuggle people from Cuba to the U.S. At a moment like this, one wonders what really has changed in Cuba. In his final press conference of the year, President Obama emphasized change would not happen overnight. But what I know deep in my bones is that if you've done the same thing for 50 years and nothing's changed, you should try something different if you want. President Obama also touched on the embargo, saying he cannot unilaterally end it, but he says he hopes Congress will re-examine it and make changes. Live in the newsroom, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Lauren.